Hi, I'm Bryn Cartelli, and these are five tracks that inspired me. The first song that inspired me is called Where the Streets Have No Name by U2, which is on their record, The Joshua Tree. Um, it's a really important album for me in my life. I started listening to it as a child in my family and it's kind of transcended into my artistry. I reference it every day because in all of my songs, I think I give a nod to that song because of the guitar parts and the tones of the guitar, those drums just make me feel so alive. I feel like it's cinematic and it inspires all of the, my favorite modern artists of today. I feel like they all kind of, all my favorite pieces kind of give a nod to it as well. And so I'm just part of that list, I guess. I, lo I just love it so much. Um, and the way Bono's voice is mixed on that record is really special because of his ability to be so soaring and, it, and it's, it's just so ambient rock masterpiece and it's Brian Eno who produced it and I'm a huge huge fan of his so Where the Streets Have No Name has always been so special to me and it will continue to be I'm sure it's one of those I just cannot let go of. The second song that inspired me is St. Jude by Florence and the Machine. It's an album track off of her record, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, which is such an underrated album in my opinion. Uh, that song specifically though, I didn't really know about it much until I read, she has this book of her lyrics, which is so special to me and I, I bought it. And as I was reading it, I came across the lyrics to St. Jude and it's just so inspiring. The way she writes is so poetic and so beautiful and so visual. And I'm just inspired. She's one of my idols. So I, I always am looking to her for references when I'm looking at production and even songwriting. It's I the tones in that song are really, really important. And it's really, really emotional. And so when I was working on Secondhand Smoke, I sent a lot of that, that kind of music, especially St. Jude, to my producer and we kind of kept listening to it in between takes of getting the right piano and the right organ sounds and she's just a master at that kind of witchy, dark vibe and I'm such a sucker for it. The third song that I'm inspired by is Till Kingdom Come by Coldplay. I have a really emotional connection to this song. I don't know if it's the lyrics themselves or the story behind this song, which is that Chris Martin and co wrote this to be sung with Johnny Cash. And a couple days before they were going to go record it with him, he passed away, Johnny Cash, rest in peace. Um, and I, there's something so magical about that story in the song because they decided to release it. Um, that kind of like transcends life for me. I don't know, it's like a weird mortality thing and, and just the lyrics are so beautiful. I think about my family members that have passed and my connections to them. And that song to me just is a very spiritual experience and I'm such a Coldplay fan. So it's the little, my little slice of heaven. The fourth song that I'm inspired by is Superstition by Stevie Wonder. Uh, I grew up listening to that song all the time with my mom in the car, and it kind of kickstarted my love for soul music and big voices, but Stevie can also tell a story like nobody else, and I'm just obsessed with him. And that song, the horns, like one day I'm dreaming to have a song with the horns like in Superstition, and now I walk around New York City with my headphones on and I, I walk to that song and I just, there's something about it that connects me to who I was when I was younger and I'm immediately in the backseat of my mom's car. And he, he just, as a performer and as an artist, just a wonderful legacy that he has laid out. I, I'm really, really inspired by him in that way. Um, that whole album means the world to me, but Superstition is my favorite. My fifth and final song that I'm inspired by, although there are many more, is Want You Back by Haim. I remember the first time I heard that song and I feel like it kind of separated my life into before Want You Back and now after. <laughs> I am obsessed with the drums and the guitars and the way that these sisters just like blend their harmonies. I think it's like the most insane thing that they're really a family and their artistry is so powerful and the way that they to me sound like old California but done in such a fresh way I feel like I'm really inspired by that and want to take that to the east coast with my music um, I, I reference that song for production in so many things that I do and 
they're just so fresh and so cool to me. I like want to be friends with them. I'm I just am so obsessed. So I wanted to throw in a modern song because the rest of those are a bit older. But um, "Want You Back" means the world to me. It, I the first song that I really ever put out that was my own. Last night's mascara. I all I wanted to do is like I want this to sound like "Want You Back," and it doesn't really. But it 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 is very much so inspired by that, and I am continued to be inspired by them every day. So I love them. Mm -hmm.